Hi, my name's Ahana, and today I'm gonna to walk you through my app called Clear. It's a free app that I built because I really wanted a better way of knowing which skincare products to use and whether they're actually working. Jumping straight in here is the community, which is central to the app. And I can see posts from people with skin like me. I can sort posts by questions, product reviews, and updates. The community is super active, so this is really helpful. I can also browse people in the community filtering by skin type. So here I'm seeing people with oily skin and I really wanted transparency in the app first and foremost, which is why I called it clear. But here I can actually see exactly which product someone with oily skin is using and for exactly how long. I can also see posts pertaining to that given skin type as well. Aside from skin type, I can also browse by skin concern. Now, I've suffered badly with cystic acne, which is what got me into skincare in the first place. So here I can see products good for people like me with acne, I can see who else on the app has acne and what products they use, I can see posts about acne and even acne medications. These were all put together by doctors on the app with both an easy to understand description and a more medical description. I can also browse by skin tone because as a person of colour myself, I know the colour of your skin also matters when it comes to skincare. Next we move to the search tab where I can search for any product in our catalogue of over 30,000 products spanning over 3,000 brands globally, ranging from all the big brands I see in supermarkets all the way to some really cool new indie brands. I can browse by category, seeing products in that category and reading posts relevant to that product category. But I can also add search filters for price, rating, skin tags, which means skin types and concerns, active ingredients, product categories, and perhaps most excitingly, AI recommendations. My background's actually in physics and data science, so I built a really cool algorithm that recommends products based on skin type, skin concern, and how skin is changing with the progress selfies and what is actually working. So this is totally unsponsored, no brand can ever pay to appear here. The recommendations are truly based on the data, and this was really important to me as the creator of this app. I can also browse products by active ingredients, and these descriptions were also put together by doctors on our team. So for each active ingredient, I can learn exactly what the ingredient does, and I can see products that contain that ingredient as a key active. And on all the product pages, I see a description of the product, how much it costs, where to buy it, who uses it by skin type, and the ingredients list and product reviews. I can also browse medications, and I can do this by skin concern. I mentioned I suffered with acne, so here you can see our doctor collated list of acne medications. Or if you already know the medication name, you can search for it directly. So I was on Accutane, and I can search for it here. Next, I'll navigate to the tracker tab. Now here is my skincare diary. Right now I'm keeping things pretty simple with just one morning and one night routine, but if you skin cycle, you can configure that too. Once that's set up, I don't need to manually say that I've done my routine every day because it automatically logs until I tell it that something has changed in my routine. And you can also add routine reminders if you just wanna be reminded to do one of your skincare routines. In addition to my current routine, I can also go back and see my routine history to see how my routine has changed with time and when I introduced new products in or took products out of my routine. The diary is also where I can track medications and this is kept private, but I can export all of this either to a PDF or share in a link, which is exactly what I did before my Accutane doctor's appointments to show my doctor what I was using and my progress pictures alongside. Speaking of progress pictures, here's where I take them. You only really need to do this weekly, but I'm an enthusiast, so I do it a little bit more often and you can add notes to all of the pictures you take. Now, I'm being really brave showing you these super unflattering progress pictures of mine, but don't worry, these are all kept private on the app. Nobody else can see these pictures unless you explicitly tap that share button in the top right hand side and generate the PDF. It was actually really helpful for me to have these pictures from all three angles and to be able to share them with my doctor during Accutane. It was also very cool to use my own app in the appointments. Next up, I can see my personal analytics section. So how much I've spent, how many products I've used, my cost breakdown per brand, and category, and how many times I've used every product I've ever tried, which is quite cool to know from just an awareness and finances perspective. Next, I'll show you my profile. On my profile, I share my skin types, concerns, you can see some of my favorites, fails, my wish list. These are all in what's known as collections on the app. You can also see some of the products that I used recently and some recent posts of mine. Now navigating back to the home tab, I also just wanted to mention that with Clear you can get an exclusive discount with teledermatology services. So I'm in the UK where we have an exclusive partnership with SkinDoc that gets all Clear users 
10% off your skin doc consultations. Also on the home tab, we have the AI product recommendations again and a label scanner. And that's the Clear App walkthrough done. Clear is available for free globally on iOS and Android. Hope it helps on your skincare journey. Bye.